Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the newly added background blur feature in Adobe XD. So I've created a new document here. I'm working on the iPad artboard size and I've added an image. So what we're going to do to add the background blur effect is select the rectangle tool and just left click and drag to create a four sided shape. Just deselect the border. It doesn't matter what color the fill is and just size this up and position it so that it covers the entire artboard. Then once you've done that and with this rectangle still selected, tick the background blur box and you'll see a set of options appear. So the top one is where you can adjust the blur itself. Let's just bring the middle one back to zero. So the middle one is the brightness, but we can adjust the blur with the top one here. So you can go all the way up to 50 and then all the way back down. So I love the way you can just use that slider to very quickly and easily find the right amount of blur that's right for you. You can also adjust the opacity of an overlay. So currently my fill color selected is white. So if I bring that all the way up to 100%, it's 100% white. I can bring that down to around about 50%. And you'll see that it kind of gives that overlay wash effect but I can also change the color as well so I can click on the fill and change that to black so in some header graphics on websites you'll see that they darken the image so that any text can stand out so it's quite nice to see Adobe XD build this very useful feature for web designers into XD itself but more than that, you can select a totally different color for the fill if you like. So let's select a pink. And you can see here, 100%, we've got solid pink. And then you can have that overlay, that wash effect over the top of the image. And as I briefly touched on before, you can also adjust the brightness. This is one that I tend to use a lot less personally, but the ability to quickly adjust the blur and any kind of overlay is just absolutely incredible and really really useful and there we go that's how we use the newly added background blur in adobe xd as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time